Hi everyone, I'm Storm Tracker Meteorologist Mike Rollins right here in the Weather Center. It is early afternoon here on Wednesday. Not a whole lot going on here, but uh, believe it or not, some of you know this, some of you may not. Uh, our day begins very early when it comes to forecasting and getting everything ready to go for you. We don't just walk in right before the 5.30 news or before the 10 o'clock news and uh, just put the weather on the um, TV. We forecast the weather for you throughout the afternoon, a very involved process. So not a whole lot going on here in the Weather Center right now. Take you on a quick tour here, of course. There are a lot of screens that we use to help predict the weather uh, and observe what's happening. Our MTN iCam network, you can see here, Helena and Great Falls. And then we've got a multitude of computers that are helping us uh, see what's happening outside right now. We can see live conditions uh, on our rooftop here of our studio on the north side of Great Falls. Uh, we can keep up with social media here with a number of different computers uh, helping us to see Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And of course, we're keeping an eye on the radar because we've got snow happening out there right now in some areas, and that snow is only going to be increasing uh, as we go into the overnight hours. In fact, I've been looking at some of the latest runs of Future Track our high resolution forecast model, getting an idea of this next round of snow that's gonna be moving in, round number two, if you uh, recall, and there's gonna be a round number three as well as we go into the overnight hours tonight. So a lot happening here in the Weather Center. Uh, of course, uh, quiet right now, or it seems like it's quiet right now uh, because there's just not a whole lot happening here, but we are busy uh, putting that forecast together behind the scenes, if you will, uh, getting things ready to go for the 5.30 news, for the 10 o'clock news, and of course, uh, keeping you up to date on social media uh, as well. That's a big part of our job. So I'm gonna be looking over some new data this afternoon, running the numbers for you, and I'll have an updated look at how much snow you can expect overnight. Again, the snow starting up here overnight for many areas, and then another round of snow on the way for Friday, or at least Thursday night into Friday. We're gonna be timing all of that out for you coming up again on the 5.30 News, so we'll see you then.